Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have the $100 shopping spree video at Walmart for the month of August. I got lucky and popped into a Walmart when the stock lady was there putting cards on the shelves. So I pulled out my phone real quickly and just showed what they had before grabbing a couple things. I'm gonna take those home and show you what we bought and open them up. Thank you very much for watching and please hit that subscribe button. Now let's check it out. All right, it is time to open up these boxes for the August edition of the $100 spending spree at walmart i probably would say that i've been to at least a dozen walmarts this month and this is i think the only time i found anything and it was only because the stock woman was there putting stuff on the shelves so for 100 bucks i picked up two mega boxes these were 40 dollars a piece they actually sold for 60 dollars a piece on on ebay because of all the, the flippers buying them all up creating some demand and also picked up a series two blaster box so we'll be looking for luis robert today for dan dan is our sponsor thank you very much dan hopefully we can find some good stuff for you if you'd like to be a sponsor of these videos please check out my patreon page you can sponsor videos there and also participate in our case breaks we will be breaking 2020 tops archives tomorrow and i have I just picked up four more cases, so it looks like 12 total cases. That's 120 boxes. Really looking forward to it. So let's get started here. I guess let's start with Series 2 and see if we can find a nice Luis Robert rookie card or a parallel at that. That would be pretty nice. I haven't seen too much Series 2 on the shelves. I haven't seen much of anything on the shelves recently. Not even uh, like opening day from 2020 is gone. So I was super happy that I had the opportunity to pick these up to do the August video. The August Target video may be in jeopardy since I can't find uh, anything at Target. So here we go, looking for some good stuff. There's a Yu Chang rookie card in this first pack. As you know, I feel that the checklist for 2020 Series 2 is somewhat weak. There's Sunny Gray, but for a second there, I thought maybe we would have a Luis Robert right there when I saw that Sox logo, but... That's not the case. Let's go on to pack number two and see what we can find. Randy Dobnak. Kind of looks a little bit like Rod Beck there. like that a lot. There's Tony Kemp. Uh, Xander Bogarts. Jose Rodriguez. I've been seeing a lot of his autos recently in 2020 products. There's a home run challenge card of Hobby Bias. I've never actually done this, but I have a few of these cards and thinking that maybe... I should maybe start doing that. There's Cal Ripken Jr. Turkey Red card. A nice looking card right there for sure. Next pack up. Let's see what we can find for Dan. Also have that exclusive medallion card, which actually aren't that bad. Um, actually kind of cool. I don't think they're as cool as the Series 1 manufactured relic, which was those medallions. There's Ken Griffey Jr. 1985 style design. Cindergard. Braves new world card and Nick Ahmed is the last one right there. Moving on to pack number four. Also still looking out for winning tickets. I feel like I've opened a million of these packs this year and have yet to find one. Those winning tickets that get you invited out to Las Vegas for a meet and greet with a bunch of superstars. We've got a Kevin Kramer in there. He's no superstar, unfortunately. As you see, uh, there's a Babe Ruth turkey red. No crazy cards worth much yet in Series 2. Let's see if we can find that Luis Robert in these last three packs. I also think that he may have a coin, a medallion, so maybe we'll find him in there. Basically, this whole video is me looking for Luis Robert, and maybe we'll get a surprise as well. Maybe sometimes out of these retail boxes, you may have an autograph or a relic. Relic is more likely... Two packs left. Let's see what we've got coming up. Speaking of what's coming up, we have our break tomorrow of 2020 Archives. Something new this year. They have a mini poster inside each box. That'll be pretty cool to see. There's a Williams Astudio out of 2020. There's a Banks Turkey Red. Clint Fraser getting a shot right now with uh, the Yankees having some outfielders on the DL. Last pack. Let's see if we can find Throwback Thursdays is going to be 2003 Chrome Series 2. Face off Friday, we're doing Monster Boxes. Some of the more popular Monster Boxes. Saturday Showdown will be archives. There's Adbert Alzole. And let's check out what we've got for the medallion. It's going to be Garrett Cole. I like the heaviness of these cards. It weighs a lot. There's a nice Garrett Cole. 
I like that one. Garrett Cole's one of my favorite players. There's the back of the card. So, Dan, congrats on the Garrett Cole. Now it's time to get to the main event. You got two mega boxes. We did a preview video of these already. They have these cool X Fractor packs inside. So, the entire rest of the video, we're just going to be looking at Topps Chrome, the super hot release right now. All right, so here's all the packs. Get them all out of there. Make sure. Make sure nothing's going back or sticking in the inside. All right, so here we go. First pack up. We lead off with a Joey Gallo. Then there's a Matt Thice, and that is going to be a refractor, which is cool, I guess. And Max Kepler. Next pack. Took me a little while to find a Luis Robert for myself. I eventually found him in my own mega box. Found a refractor Luis Robert rookie card, which I was super stoked to find. There's Shin Su Chu, Ricky Henderson die cut card from the 80s. Tony Gonsolin rookie card. That might be a good one. Gonsolin looking pretty good this year. The Dodgers seem to know what they're doing in producing young starting pitching. There's Low Kane. He opted out of the season, so see him next year his career is kind of winding down getting up there in age freddie freeman zach gallon rookie card refractor not too bad next pack up we got a juan soto on the back and there's a freshman flash sheldon noisy on the front and there's the soto these packs are going pretty quick um paul goldschmidt a lot of you have seen a lot of chrome we did a ton of chrome on the channel we did a whole bunch of Hobby boxes in our case break, and also jumbo boxes. Uh, we probably broke over 10 hours of chrome, I would imagine. And uh, here we are again giving it another go. There's a nice Pete Alonso Prism Refractor. Bo Bichette rookie card. That is a solid one right there. Bichette having a great season. Jeff Samarja. And two more packs before we get to those X Fractor ones for Dan. Abraham Toro and Aristide Sakino, 1985 style design. He's one with the. Uh, I put two down arrows next to his cards. They've really dropped off um, very sharply since a couple months ago. There's Archie Bradley, George Springer, and Joey Votto. So now it's time for the X Fractor packs. Let's see what we can find for you. There's five cards per pack. You can see they kind of look like prisms, but they're just a little bit different in the designs in the background. There's a Nicky Lopez leading things off, a Paul Goldschmidt. We've got a Lucas Giolito and Max Kepler hoping for a rookie X Fractor. Cody Bellinger's the last one. <clears throat> Here's the next pack. Another Goldschmidt. Another Giolito. Kyle Seeger, at least. Switching up a little bit. Isan Diaz and Harold Ramirez are the last two. So now let's get into our final box. It is the 2020 Chrome Mega Box number two. Hopefully, we can find. Some good stuff in here. Unfortunately, you may not be able to find these on your shelves at Walmart because of the gosh darn flippers out there buying them all up and flipping them. So if they pay thirty, what is it, thirty nine ninety eight after tax, you're looking at probably what forty three dollars, and then to ship it's probably five. That takes you to forty eight. The sixty dollars eBay takes what uh, like ten percent of that. That's six more. So. That's $54 total investment to ship it to you. They're making six bucks per monster box. Um, kind of kind of crappy that they are going to great lengths, probably driving all over God's green earth, looking for Walmarts to grab them at, not even factoring all the gas that they buy to uh, fuel their flipping habits. Um, I would just say if flippers maybe stop flipping already. And leave some for everybody else. I, I've literally been to at least a dozen Walmarts the past couple weeks looking for cards. Because as you know, I need some packs for my Patreon members. And I can't find them anywhere. Ever. There's Will Smith. And Dylan Cease rookie card. And Kyle Seeger. I've got a general idea of when they stock as well. But uh, even when I go near the stock times, there's... I guess if you're not there right away, you're not going to find anything. Alright, so let's find a Luis Robert. There's Jack Flaherty. Hey, there we go. Luis Robert Freshman Flash. Not the base card, but still a nice one right there. At least we got one today. Bruce Dark Gratterall is a nice one as well for Dan. Let's go to the next pack and see what we can find. 
We've got Jose Abreu leading things off. Then we have a Bregman Refractor, Nico Horner, and Jose Ramirez. Looks like three more packs than the X-Fractor wants, and that'll be it for this month of the Walmart $100 budget buy. There's some new releases coming up that we may be able to find for our September Walmart video. Topps Archives will be coming out tomorrow, so hopefully Blasters will be hitting the shelves soon for that product. I'm super excited for it. 1955, 74, and 2002 designs. And then after that, a few weeks later, we'll have Allen and Ginter coming in Stadium Club as well. There's a Beau Bichette 1985 style design like that card. Now it's time to get into the X-Fractors as we wind the video down. We got an Albert Pujols leading things off and then Tyler Glass now. I love Tyler Glass now, by the way. Charlie Blackman really started the season off well. It will be interesting to see how he finishes. There's Jose Altuve. He started the season in the opposite direction, struggling to hit 200. So here we go. Last pack for Dan. Thank you, Dan. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate your support. I hope that you will check us out tomorrow in our live stream of 2020 Archives. I may start super early in the afternoon because we have so many boxes to do. Two autographs per box, a mini poster in every box, and uh, there's still some spots available on Patreon if you want to check it out and sign up there. Here we go, last pack, Nick Solak, Eric Hosmer, Logan Allen, rookie card, uh, Pablo Lopez, and a very nice Bo Bichette X-Fractor to finish things off. For me, that's the best card of the video. We were hoping to find a Luis Robert X-Fractor, but a Bo Bichette X-Fractor is not too shabby at all either. Let's see if I can figure out what it goes for really quick. I've got a computer off to the side here. I'm just gonna type in Bichette X-Fractor, and I do see they are listed for about eighty to ninety dollars, uh, so you probably have about I don't know seventy eighty dollar card right there, Dan. That's the best one of the video. Um, so Dan, almost getting your hundred dollar investment back in that one card. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like the video, leave a comment, let me know if you've had any luck at your Walmart. I bet most of you haven't, and hopefully uh, things change, and maybe we'll start to find some cards on the shelves but I wouldn't hold your breath. So check us out tomorrow for the live stream. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.